Hey, what's up with it? It's your boy Antoine Campbell. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I got another amazing episode for you. And today we're going to be covering a whole lot of stuff. So don't go anywhere because we're going to be talking about the advantage of hiring virtual assistants for your business. And we're going to compare the virtual assistants to regular traditional employees. What's the difference financially? Is it a big cost? Like, is it a burden? What do you need to know? Or what do you need to do when you're considering hiring a virtual assistant? So, um, like I said, we got a lot to talk about today. Get ready, smash the like button, and share this video out with three to five people you know. Like, let's talk about understanding virtual assistants. Right, virtual assistants are employees that you can hire remotely anywhere in the world. That you got virtual assistants in South America, you got virtual assistants over in Africa, you got virtual assistants in Asia, you got virtual assistants in the Philippines. Like they all over. The beautiful thing about the virtual assistants is you're leveraging the value of your currency against another currency so to me that what makes the virtual system so great they got a great quality education they make a great quality pay and they're happy without it being a burden on you financially and you know a typical virtual assistant we're going to use the philippines since that's what most of my experience is you can get a great virtual system between four and eight dollars an hour once you start to go in between the eight and twelve dollars an hour you can get like c-suite virtual assistants executives, um, CFOs, all types of people that can come in and run and take your business to the next level. Now, a traditional employer is great and they have their place. Like you uh, maybe need somebody physically here to greet customers or take appointments or whatever the case may be. They have their place. But the thing about it is you got a lot of expenses stacked up with the traditional employees. Like some employees, they want a 401k matching because a guy down the street offering that. So you're competing with a lot of other companies. And then you just have people who have the mindset that they don't really want to work hard. So um, that's the beautiful thing I like about the other countries. Hard work and work ethics is still instilled in them. I'm not saying here in America or wherever you're from, that's not the case. But I'm just telling you based off my uh, experience. And like I said, the difference between both of them, uh, you're not on the hook for paying this crazy workers' comp and employee uh, taxes and stuff like that. Like a, a $15 hour employee here in America, it's really a $28 hour employee when you add up all the costs that the government charges you to uh, have that person on your payroll. Let's, let's get into initial hiring costs. Well, here, uh, if you hire a virtual assistant, you can pay them $4 an hour to $8 an hour. If you go to an agency, there's a little upcharge on that. But if you go to a head, um, count, head hunting services, like a recruitment services that just charge a recruitment fee, then you have this fixed flat cost that's no hitting the up cost that you know exactly what it costs up front to hire that person. So you can actually include that in the cost of hiring, like the typical VA salary for the year developing is like between $6,000 and $8,000. So if the head count agency charges between $500 and $1,500 to hire that VA, you just add that to the salary and you're still less than $7,500. So the recruitment is a lot cheaper. Traditional employees, you can still in here in America hire a recruitment company or hay hunting company, but it's going to be a little more expensive because they charge a 10% of the salary. And a typical salary here in America is between 40 and 50K. Quality jobs, 35 for regular entry level labor type jobs. So that can get a little costly, you know what I mean? So if you add it up, you know, that could be between $1,500 and $3,000 easily that they're charging you per hire. Um, most times there's no guarantee, there's no warranties, which means that if an employee gets fired or quit, you gotta pay it all over again. The VA agency is a little more flexible because they have so many people in that pool and they work with so many VAs that doesn't really cost them to guarantee that they re keep replacing employees for that one hire. So um, you're saving a ton of money. And then, like I said, when you hire them, you have to have them on ADP, some type of payroll, some type of um, workers' comp insurance, some type of unemployment uh, money you're paying, all these different taxes and expenses that can easily go from um, being $15 an hour, $25 an hour to, you know, $30 an hour to $45 an hour in cost. When you hire virtual assistants, it's just a straight up $4 flat salary that you're playing. And uh, training costs. So uh, with virtual assistants, you can create SOPs and record videos and send them on their way. They're good to go. You can use online education platforms, platforms like Udemy, U-D-E-M-Y, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, and pay like $10 a month or $15 a month per employee. And they got all of the videos and stuff ready for them. Here in America, uh, there are certain certifications you have to go through. Um, so you have to go through certain companies and they create their own prices. There's certain regulations and laws and 
and, and, and certificates and permits and all of this stuff that's ongoing costs and expenses that adds up with how much you uh, decide to uh, pay that employee. So you'll be spending a ton of money on paying this employee. And then, uh, uh, let's, like we talked about the salary, so the benefits. So like here in America, um, you know, you have to pay them uh, two weeks off of maternity leave. You have to pay, uh, if they get hurt, uh, workers comp, like premiums and things of that sort, you will have to pay them off on all the holidays, a week or two, like Thanksgiving, New Year's, Christmas, all that stuff you will have to pay um, for them to be off. And then you will have to, depending on what you do, you will have to offer insurance and all types of benefits to keep them on. That's why I think the VA model is definitely more beneficial. Let's talk about the flexibility and the scalability of virtual assistants, right? When you're exploring the flexibility of virtual assistants, just know that they're not actually your employees. We actually give you the paperwork. If you decide to hire a VA, we have a whole company to do all this for you. But we actually give you the paperwork to separate yourself so that they actually work for you as an independent contractor. Then you just, you know, go to your accountant and then figure out ways to write that off as an expense, right? Especially if you have a C-Corp, that's a whole other video, but you can write that off as an expense. And literally, it's not really a burden on you financially, you know, because of the tax code. And I'm not gonna get into the tax code in this video, but I'm just letting you know. And once you understand that, I'm telling you, uh, you're, you're, you're gonna be going to the next level. And then the on-demand availability, right? So you can hire a virtual assistant anywhere in the world and they'd be ready to work usually the same day or the next day in both cases. But the beautiful thing about uh, this is it's so flexible. Now here in America, you may find a good prospect, but they currently live in Texas. You're located in um, San Antonio um, and you know they currently based out of you know Houston or Austin. They will probably have to relocate. So they're gonna need a week to get started or they may live in Washington State and you may be in you know Las Vegas, Nevada. They got the uh, move and they want moving compensation, so you got to pay for U-Haul, fly these luggage out. It, it, it can get really expensive, and, and, and they get there and work for you in six months later. So the amount of money that you're spending investing in people here um, is absurd. Now I'm not saying that don't that has a time and place with different things, essential employees, key employees, C-suite executives, CFOs, all that type of stuff. If you want that here, then be more power to you, my brother. But I'm just letting you know the, the easiness and the um, flexibility of taking a VA and getting them on board within a, you know two three hours and then growing their business to the next level um, with, with you. So literally, uh, just inserting them into your business. If you need somebody for like seasonal work, um, this will be a great thing for VA. So let's say for example, you run an e-commerce website and you make all your a lot of your majority of your sales between Black Friday and Christmas. You can come to a VA agency like us and literally we can um, hire as much VAs as you would like. Then after a while, you just slowly start to scale back and then, you know, when you're ready to pick them up again, you hire them. That's a beautiful thing about that. You don't have to worry about um, upsetting people. They understand, the VAs understand that, you know, nothing's permanent. Um, so that's the beautiful thing. And then your business operation will definitely be very efficient, especially if you have great SOPs and you have a great clear process on how things work in your business. And then you're just minimizing downtime idle hours. So, you know, most employees here in America, you won't hire them full time because you want them to stay around. The beautiful thing about hiring, you know, virtual assistants is you can hire them part time and slowly increase hours as needed. Part time meaning five hours or less. And they'd be happy with that. And it's still a good salary for them. The specialization and skills diversity. When you are working with virtual assistants, you gain access to the global talent pool with virtual with VAs. Unlike here in America, you just only can work with just people in America or Canada or the UK. But when you, so that means that I can have a diverse culture of people. I may go hire Egyptians for uh, certain things. I might go hire Indians over in the Middle East. I might hire them for computer development, back end. I might hire the Filipinos for accounting and customer service. And I have a mixed use of employees and I'm having everybody that has a good concentration skills on my workforce and we're doing fabulous because I hire people based on um, qualities of skills. The skill diversity is something that most people 
don't even take into account when they use it to hire virtual assistants. Let's talk about uh, employee retention and turnover. Most employees, man, you, you're going to get a lot of turnover. Now, you know, when it comes to traditional employment, people who come and go, um, they quit jobs so we're looking for a better opportunity. But here's some retention strategies for VAs. Uh, offer them incentive after a certain amount of months, give them a piece of revenue, um, give them bonuses, offer them an extra pay. Like if you're paying full hour an hour and they do an amazing job, it wouldn't kill you to add an extra dollar an hour to them. Now a dollar an hour to them is life changing. Imagine you're increasing their, an American salary by 20%. So if I'm making $100,000 a year right now and I increase your salary by 20%, in America, that's 120,000. That's a that's a significant jump in your salary that you'll notice. So imagine you're doing that, you get the same reaction, but you know you increase somebody's salary by an extra dollar an hour. They working 40 hours a week. That's an extra 40 dollars on you. You know, 40 times 52. Man, I don't know the math for that, but that's like an extra thousand dollars that you're paying them a year. So I'm telling you, it has its perks to hire offshore uh, because. Uh, all of the different things um, that you can do. Um, we, I'll give you a few examples. Like we have different people to come to us. Uh, you know, we have people that run real estate business. We have people that run um, staffing agencies that need uh, limited supply of VA. We have people that operate co-working spaces. We have people that own and operate barbecue companies. It's a lot of different things that we have people work for us. I mean, come to us for that want need work or need VAs that uh, you can use these VA from. And I may include like some testimonials at the bottom of this YouTube video, but I'm here to tap in, uh, tap in and tell you that if you're on the fence about hiring a VA, now is the most perfect time to hire a VA and take your VA to the next level. And what's the advantage of hiring them over top of traditional employees? Like I said, the traditional employees has its place. I'm never gonna get that. But when you want that extra oomph and that extra like kick into your team and you don't want to go and break down you know and spend an extra two hundred thousand as salaries um, imagine if you spend an extra thirty thousand inside and get the same results and save that hundred and seventy thousand that would be life-changing for your business so if you're interested in hiring a virtual assistant i want you to click the link below in the show notes head over to va that CO929.com, book a call with us and see what we can do to help you. Even if you still want to hire an American employee, we offer uh, um, onboarding and recruitment services to local employees as well as um, offshore employees. Just give us a call and see what we can do to help you take you to the next level. If you know anybody that needs to learn information about hiring virtual assistants, do me a favor and send this video out to them. Three to five people you know, like, and trust, and I really appreciate it. Click the like button and click the bell, and I really appreciate you. See you on the next video. It's your boy Antoine Campbell from CO929.com.